feel like you're in a crowded room, but you're totally alone. Like everyone's around you, but you're in your own little world. Yeah, I've definitely felt that. It's kind of like that feeling in the story we're diving into tonight. It's all about finding what really matters. And get this, it takes place during a meteor shower in Tokyo. Oh, cool. Yeah, and we're going to meet Rin. Trust me, her story is going to stay with you. Okay, I'm intrigued. So what's the source material this time? Well, it's interesting, actually. We're actually only looking at one super short story, like just a paragraph long, but it's packed with so much meaning. It's amazing what writers can do with just a few sentences. Wow, okay. Less is more, right? right. So we find Rin in her apartment. It's high up, overlooking Tokyo. And the way it's described, you can just see those dazzling city lights, but also this feeling of isolation, you know? Yeah, I get it. Like, the, the city's alive, but she's not really part of it. Exactly. And there's this old flute in the story. Rin's drawn to it, but she can't actually play it. It's like it symbolizes something she's missing. It's like the writer wants us to feel that sense of being lost. We're not just told about it. We experience it right alongside Rin through the setting, those sensory details. You hit the nail on the head. The writer doesn't just tell us. They show us. And that really makes you feel for her, you know? Absolutely. So what do you think the flute represents? It's interesting. For me, it speaks to that universal feeling of longing, you know? It could be a lost dream, a passion put on hold, even a desire for connection. What do you think? Totally. It's like that thing we all yearn for, but it's just out of reach. It's different for everyone. Like, what's your flute? What's that one thing you keep thinking about? Hmm. That's a good question. And you know what else struck me? This meteor shower. Oh, yeah. That's where things get really interesting. It's like a wake-up call for Rin, wouldn't you say? Totally. Like, natural events like that have a way of putting things in perspective. Suddenly, everyday worries seem smaller. You know, it makes you think about the bigger picture. Definitely. And for Rin, it seems like the meteor shower pushes her to make a change. Out of the blue, she grabs her phone. It's such a human moment. You can almost feel her reaching out. Exactly. And the story never tells us who she calls. It's like one of those open endings that leaves you wondering. I love that. It lets us fill in the blanks with our own experiences. Who would we call in that moment? What relationship needs a little attention? It's so powerful because it makes you really think. So the story ends with Rin taking that step, making that call. We don't know what happens next, but there's a sense of hope. All right. right. Definitely. It reminds us that it's never too late to reach out to make a change, even if it's just picking up the phone. I don't know about you, but this whole thing really resonated with me. It's amazing how such a short story can pack such a punch. Totally. And that's the beauty of what we do here, right? Yeah. Finding those hidden gems, those little nuggets of wisdom in unexpected places. Exactly. So, listeners, we want to hear from you. Have you ever had a meteor shower moment? Something that made you pause, reevaluate, maybe reach out to someone? You know those stories. We'd love to hear them.